Monique, finally. Good morning. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you, Lovett. Are you good? I'm great. What an amazing place. Welcome to New Zealand. Monique Fizo is one of New Zealand's top chefs. Trained in Michelin-style restaurants, but passionate about her Maori heritage. She's on a one-woman mission to blend the food of her ancestors with the world of fine dining. Now, I've never, ever ventured into that Maori cuisine. So what do I need to understand? There's four main ecosystems. There's the oceans and the river. Mm -hmm. It's Tongaroa, god of the sea. And then there's the mountains uh -huh. and the forest. Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother. Papa what? Papa Tuanuku. OK, Papa Tuanuku. Papa Tuanuku. Papa Tuanuku. <laughs> That's the one. It's a complex cuisine. There's a lot of customs involved. It's not just about you know, growing food and just making it. There's right. a lot of like, different traditions that are interwoven in all of the food. The Maori first arrived in New Zealand on pioneering voyages from Polynesia in the 13th century. Although they brought some crops with them, much of their diet relied on hunting and gathering from the forest and ocean. A tradition which Maori chefs like Monique are keeping alive through their cooking. Now, foraging, is it big on the menu here? It is big on the menu here. A lot of the time, it's the only way to get your hands on these ingredients. Wow. And as you can see, I've got two machetes, one of which is for you. That's my machete. That's your machete. <laughs> Ask all the chefs at my restaurant. We I, all own a machete each. I know, but you don't walk <laughs> home at night with this thing, do you? No, we tuck it in our backpack. You tuck it in your backpack. <laughs> These machetes are lethal. Monique is a woman I'm definitely not going to argue with, especially when she's on the hunt for wild food. So this is not like walking down a uh, supermarket aisle. No, this is... Uh of the hard work we do to get the food we need to eat. They're everywhere. Monique, really? Yeah. Seriously. Keep going, chef. But these vines yeah. are more than just a jungle gym. At their tip is a secret Maori delicacy. So these are the young shoots that come off the vines, and they're super tender. Wow. You can eat that? You can eat that. They're hard to find. It's like bush asparagus. Give it a try. They're really good. They are good. Mm. They are like asparagus. Mm. So soft and delicate. Yeah. Delicious. All I can see in this tangled forest are potential personal injury claims. Oh, here's a good one. But for Machete Monique, it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. What's that? Hotapito. Hotapito. Yeah, it's a native bush pepper tree. Wow. It's super spicy, super peppery. Have a munch on that. Wow. Oh, that one's spicy. Ooh. That is spicy. That's incredible from mm. that. Quite numb now, my tongue. Yeah. From hot. And it's going to stay that way for is a it? while. <laughs> <laughs> There's now a full scale forest fire in my mouth. But Monique's not done yet. It's amazing from the beach. It doesn't look that steep. She's got another surprise for me high up in the forest canopy. That is deep in there, Monique. I know. It's a good workout. Isn't it? Next challenge. This is a uh, fuchsia tree. And the best oh. thing about this tree, Go on. the berries. And they're usually way up high. So the best ones, they're bright purple and they're super sweet. Yeah. But they're just a bit of a pain to get. So, so we just shake the tree and it'll drop down? No, you're going to have to go up. Seriously? Yeah. You sure they'll take my weight, the branches? We'll soon find out. I'll wait here. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Honestly, you said come foraging, right? Yeah. I was going to say it would all be on the ground. Just a little bit further now. Oh, oh. Do you hear that? I heard that. <laughs> Go. Like Tarzan up there. Can you see them? I can see them right in front of you. Right. Bloody hell, it's windy. So the bright purple ones, right? Bright purple, those are the ones we're after. 
If you toss them down... They look like tiny dates. Wow. How good are those? It's almost like a treetop dessert. I just think that they're one of the best ingredients that we have in this country. They're bloody tasty. Fuchsia berries. Fuchsia berries. Pretty hairy, scaling that tree, especially in the wind. But another hidden gem. And what a delicious little berry. There's no seeds inside, so that's a nice thing. So it's just bursting with flavor. The pain in the ass was they're at the top of the tree, not the bottom. Want to see more from my Uncharted adventures? Please click here to watch more clips.